Today I am ready to do some serious job. I have event X and my LED lamps, they don't work anymore. I have to exchange everything. So that is package that I got from Catron. New LED lamps, everything is there. So I will give it a try to install it by myself. Uh, when I look at this, I don't think so that anything is going to be very hard job. It looks uh, something familiar to me that I saw in other instruments. I have to do connection here, here and here when I install this. And that is everything actually. From this side is nothing to worry about. So in this side I have three spots that I have to take care about some connections. So let me start to see how it works. Now what do I need here? I have to unscrew those bars. I guess so. I never did it. So I'm just guessing everything. I have to find something how to unscrew those parts. And I found it. It is this guy here, T10. That one. And I'm going to put it here. I did a lot of repair with other keyboards. I'm not repair man for keyboards, but if I have to do something for myself, I am brave to do so. So this is for those. And now I have to unscrew this as well. So this is for those. I guess so. I will see. I will go step by step and I will see what do I have to do. Uh, let me see from this side. Down, I have one, two, three, four. No, just one, two on this side. I am now guessing what I have to do, but I will start to work and then I will see what really I have to do. I have there a lot of screws. I think those I have to take off. Yeah, to take upper part. I will try to keep lower part and I will try to not touch it. Now I am, uh, since I never did it, I have just to think about this when I'm looking at this instrument, I'm just getting idea what to do. Uh, I am thinking if I can somehow lift that upper part and leave that down part, so it could be maybe the best start option. For this, I have to remove all those potentiometers. Maybe I don't know, need to do so right now, but I may do so right now. If I just go here and slowly take out one by one, and I will put them here in this corner, up. For this thing, I'm using this tool and I'm just lifting those parts and doing that very slowly. I think so that my work is going to be successful. I have self-confident person. Uh, I am not an electrician or somebody who is working repair of the keyboards, but I am enough brave to do so for myself. Because I, if I do something wrong, <laughs> that is my keyboard. Uh, okay, now I am getting rid of all those caps and those potentiometers. I will need to do so because if I want to remove it, as I can see, I have to remove those caps. I don't need to care about those buttons, but I have to take care about this part, how to do so. I don't want to destroy anything. I have to be very careful with this part. Okay, I will leave this part for now. Maybe something I will, maybe I will get later idea what to do with this part. I don't want to uh, destroy anything. Huh. 
is pretty tight here. Okay, let me start to unscrew those bars here. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. Let me see on camera. Now presently you cannot see. I'll try to leave that camera here. Try to lift it more. Let me see, do you see it? Anything now? I am in very bad position, so I have to turn on and see what I'm doing here. Now, okay, I'll take this off. Unscrew this one. The next one. You must have good tools. 100% that fits, 100%. And if you have a good tool, then you will be able to unscrew all those bars and the assembly or keyboard. Okay. Now, next one. Okay. I can see that something is happening. I can see that already I am in process of doing something. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, man. Slow down. Don't do something ridiculous. Now we have wire here. We have this wire. From here I can see many things that I have to do now. When you are in process of opening, you can see things that you should do. Okay, now be careful. That is connected. Don't detach it. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I can be make sure. Now I can see that I have to take off let me see those screws down. There are some screws down. How I can take them? I will see that. Hmm? Okay, that is going to be very hard to take them. Maybe I don't need to take them. But what I have to take. Okay, okay, okay. see something here. Now I'm thinking what I have to do. I have to take another side. Okay, another side. I have to take the ensemble another side. First, let me put this here. Uh, let me remove this from here just for a moment. Put it on side to make sure that I don't destroy anything. Now another side I am taking off uh, screws let me point camera to that part okay that you can see what i'm doing here yeah i think so you can see now yeah you can see that i'm taking that part here just to see what do we have here i don't want any more surprises i was surprised when i saw that wire that is connected. I almost pull it out too hard. But now, since I know that on another side, okay, there's nothing. There's nothing on this side. I don't need to worry about this side, just unscrew it. So that is side where we don't have any kind of connection. I'll put it on side here. Now, I took two sides. Come on, I have to take care about that part. Okay, let me see. Now if I move it like this, what did I got? Oh. Okay. 
okay i think it is going to be easier than i thought so this part you can just lift but there is on another side something that i think you have to take care now what i'm thinking actually i am thinking that i do not need to take i will just go back here for a moment now you are lucky because you we are in learning process that you sh sh you don't need to do everything so i think that bottom part i don't need even to unscrew and it's, so i'm going to return that bottom part those screws i'm going to return them okay one now second i don't think so that i have to take them off and I'm looking now at all parts. So, now when I learned something, it looks to me that I don't need to take those two down off, just upper two, even on another side, because now I can do some movements. I can lift it, look at, I can lift it, but from this side, from, from this side, I cannot because I have to take off this or this. Now I will see what, I will try to guess what I have to take off. Okay. Now I am guessing that I have to take off those screws, just those. And I'm taking screwdriver. screws and I will take them and to see if that's enough I'll put them here I have three of them okay two and third one Boilers will go very easy. They're not tight at all. Now, I took those three. I took upper two, and here I took upper and lower two, I, but I don't think so that I need to take lower two, so I can return them right away. I, I want to make sure that keyboard is more stable. I don't want to take off what I don't need to take off. As I mentioned in the beginning, I didn't know, but now when I saw it, now I know that I have to take back, uh, just upper parts. Okay. Now, let me see, what do we have here now? Okay, we can take that part, and we can take that part. And let me see what do we have inside here. Very carefully, very carefully, very carefully. Now, okay, we have those connections. Remember those? One, two. I can see that I have four connections. I j I'm wondering where is that fourth? Maybe in the screen. Uh, one. Okay. Let me move camera a little bit here, closer to see it. Okay, now I can see what I am doing here. Now, now I can see what is inside of that keyboard. Huh. Okay. Now, I have to deassemble this part. Just let me see this wire is okay. That was this wire that I pulled out, but I didn't damage anything. Thank you, God. So you have to be very careful about those things. Now I have to unscrew those screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
Darum war taking 14 screws. Now I'll start with them. Now uh, let me do something here. Okay, you can, I can put something safe just to make sure that nothing is happening behind. Uh, okay, maybe I should just rearrange stuff here. I will take those things. Hmm, one fell down. Okay, I don't want to lose anything. We have those parts here. That part belongs to new board. I have those screws here. Four and three screwdriver. And now I'll close this and I will just put this behind to protect my keyboard from moving. Okay, now I will continue work. See how camera is looking at this. Okay, a better angle. Okay, now you can see what I'm doing. I will start with screws. Okay, I will move my hand. I cannot do that with my. Processor removing screws. So that's that one. And I put this one here. Now I can go. I will say, are they all the same size? In some situations, they are not the same size, but here I can see they are the same size. Same size. one is down and this one is not magnetic. I think I have some magnetic ones, uh, but I have some other tools to use it to grab, grab this. Okay, maybe this one, maybe this one. Ah, okay, some, some are hidden here. Okay, I'll try to find it later. Uh, it is there somewhere behind the cables. Okay, this one. I will take care to make sure that it doesn't go down somewhere. Okay. Next one. My hand, I have to move my hand. Okay, next one. They are not too tight, so when I put them back, I don't need to put them very tight. I have just gently to screw them inside. Look at it. It goes very easily. When I had PA2 long time ago, I remember that sometimes when I was traveling by plane, some of screws were, uh, they fell out. So uh, when I, when you turn the keyboard, you, you had, you can, you could hear noise that something is uh, inside of the keyboard that is not in position. Okay. I remember there is one that I didn't take. I have to take it later. No, I don't think so it is going to be a hard job at all. You have just the ensemble those parts, put everything back. Only thing that maybe could be hard for me, it is that wheel for tempo, actually wheel, only wheel on top of the keyboard. I don't know how to take this off, so I, I will maybe you know, later I'll figure out, I didn't want to break anything. I just want to take this part off and see maybe later it will help me 
to find better solution and I open this part okay and I think one more and that's it one more so okay everything is done now I can take this part yeah that is now that wheel that is stopping me to take it off is there anything else I think it is stopping me. Okay. Yeah, it could be real. And nothing else. Now it's time to figure out how to do so. But first I want to make sure that I can find oh okay, there is screw. This is screw is here. <laughs> I cannot take that. Is there? It's out. And now we have just one thing that we have to do. This is this wheel. Oh, we can take it out. It should somehow pop up. Uh, I have to be gentle with this. But I don't know what to do here. <laughs> it should be easy, it is just on. If I'm looking on this part, it should be easy to take it off. destroy anything not to destroy anything pretty tough Let me see something else. Everything is released. Everything is here released. There's just this area around the wheel. That I have just to try to take it up now only what I am thinking yeah this is just turning so this is the only part that I have to take out not this part not this down this down part is part of this uh, so let me find something where what can help me to just I am trying to go so very, very carefully, step by step, and I think I am doing so. Ah, yes, yes, just very carefully. That's it. Oh, sorry, I moved my camera. So that's it. Now that part is off. So this part I don't. You don't need to take off. So that part is just standing there now let us see what that we what we can do more i will leave that part now i will carefully lift everything lift everything okay something else is stopping me to take it off now I have to figure out what, because I never did it. I'm doing so for first time in my life, and I'm just taking 
risk to do so. Oh, look at that. Okay. Now this is keeping that part in position, so I don't need to worry that we'll go. What is stopping here? Guys, what could we do? Is there any screw or anything? Is that? No. Nothing. Nothing. Sorry, we have to figure out. I don't want to destroy anything. This part doesn't go. This part doesn't go. Okay, now I can see why. Look at we have here screws, tiny screws. Okay, that's it. It is always a good idea if you don't know what you are doing, then just be gentle and wait until you find what is solution. Now I have to take another screwdriver proper for those screws. Logically, there should be some screws. Okay, now one, I think we have four of them. Actually, we have four of them. One. Two. And I guess so. That's it. That is going to be everything what we have to do. So I never open any of those modules keyboards. I did open some corks. I did open some. I did total repair with DX7. M1. Cork PA2, PA3, PA4. Uh, with PA2 I did uh, joysticks. PA4. PA2 LED, light, uh, LED lamps. You remember LED lamps. They had a lot, a lot of problem in first series. Like in the seventh first series. That is one of the first keyboard. And now I am taking that part. And as you can see, everything is falling off. Now we have those two parts, but I don't need them. I have them over here, but I can keep them. One is here. One comes here. Yeah, I can keep them here. Okay, that is that part that I have to exchange. Now, as I mentioned, I have three connections and fourth one goes to display. Now we know where is display. I, uh, one part fell out, fell off down. That is that part, center part for this thing. So look at, 
I took this very nicely. I didn't damage anything. And I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I think I know what I have to do. I, I mean, for sure, I know what I have to do. I wouldn't do so if I don't know what I have to do. So now I have to just exchange that part gently to disconnect those parts. One, two, three. And we have old part. That is my old part. New old part. <laughs> Okay, first, in first series of those keyboards, some keyboard they have problem with those lights, they don't work. In the beginning they just change color without any reason and then after that certain period of time they stop to respond. Now that part, as I assume, nothing but those three connections what we have to do. Now I am going to put new part brand new part that I bought from company, from Ketron. Now I have to make sure that I do those connections. Again, everything gently and very carefully. I want to make sure when I turn it on, that everything is working properly. Okay, first connection is established. Second connection you cannot make mistake if you just pay attention how you have to connect it. And third connection, look at you have that lead that is coming here. Okay. Now, those are three connections. One, two, three. Okay, now I did it. Now what I have to do, I have to put it back. Before I put it back, I have to remove all those in the same way. Caps for potentiometers. Those are new caps. I will put them on right side. Two, three, four. Hmm. This is going to be tricky to put it everything together because that can go very easily up. But I will try to make sure that I'm. I do everything. Oh, uh oh, one cup is over there. Okay, I can take any cup. Now that cup goes here. That cup goes here. That one goes there. And this one here. Okay. Okay, now we did connect this part, we did connect this part, we did connect this part. Here is processor. I don't know why do I have now this here. But I will keep it. I will keep it there, this part. Okay, there, I don't have it here on processor. I don't have anything here. But you know what? I think I will keep it here. There is no problem to keep it here. So, I am ready for the next move. To put everything together back. Now when everything is connected, I will just put it back. OK. 
Okay. Is that okay? Okay. Just think to see that from here. See it from here. Oh, okay, that part. Well, I think I should just do so. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep this like this. I'll keep it like this in this position. One more time, this is okay, okay, okay. I'll keep it in this position. Make sure that all those parts are in proper position. Okay, but let me some of the parts. Are not in proper position. Let me go with this part. Okay, that part is out. Okay. I will check all those parts first, one by one. They're okay. Okay, those parts, they're okay. I want to make sure that nothing is okay. Nothing is disturbing me. That is okay. That now I will decide to keep it like this and just to close it. Try to fit everything here. Okay, this one doesn't fit. Now everything fits. Beautiful. And I'll secure a couple of those like this, just to hold it for a moment. Those caps, they will help me to keep it in position. Look at those caps, they will help me to keep that part in position. Okay, those small patches, I got it from uh, traveling from my case, travel case. Okay. No, actually, I got it from stamp in my studio, yeah. Okay, where is that part? Yeah, that part is here. And that part goes like this. Mm -hmm. Now I will put it again in this position, keep it like that, try to put some screws. Now, sorry if, I, my, if my hand is covering space, but you know what, now I have to take care about putting everything properly. Now I have to take proper screws. They goes here. Okay, let me put just a couple of them to make sure that I can continue work. Not this one. I don't know, how do I have that one? This one is proper screw wire. Okay, I have one, one in position and I have a couple others. Okay. OK, 
okay now I have second one is going to position okay I'll just put a couple of them not all of them just to see is everything in proper place okay maybe one here oh. no next one here down then next one is there I have a couple of them okay one two three four five and a six let me just put it down to see something here buttons everything is here so I can see all my buttons are in proper position yeah Okay, that part now I have to take care about this part. Okay, let me see. Aha. Now this part, this part should be like this. I have to put those screws in that part, but I have to make sure that everything is coming to right place. I will keep it like this and I will try to find the sorry for my hand I don't know what I have to do with this hand just to make sure that you see everything huh? okay one is proper position is going on right place and now what we have to put everything together and I think so it should work second one we have four of those remember that was part that is holding the wheel and that was tricky part that I, I was worried about how to do so but I, I did figure out without destroying my keyboard without damaging my keyboard okay and okay that is wrong place it comes actually here yep one so everything gently don't overdo so but it has to be tight nobody wants to have falling parts falling part from, uh, from the keyboard in the middle of performing but nobody wants to destroy those parts now I have that part too let me see one more time what do we have here okay it works it works now I will put back all those caps I can take my new caps or old caps it really doesn't matter my old caps uh, anyway new
So I take extreme care about my instruments always and this part it wasn't my fault but it's actually first production of this instrument they had problem with those lamps now I have this I have this everything I can see my buttons are here I can access them no nothing is in wrong position now I have just to finish my work I have to take care that I put back all those screws now I am going to do so with the rest of screws that I have here this one goes up I have to see where it comes there okay that one goes here we have one here down we don't have to forgot something to have too many screws or or to have screw that is not in position when you close then you discover that you have one screw left okay couple more and I can't wait <laughs> to try it and see does it work or does it work does it work okay how many do we have one more and this one don't forget that part there is ground that has to be connected to this ground part ground wire now I will tighten all of them but not too much this screwdriver that was able to unscrew them, that screwdriver, same, I will take to tighten them. It's going to be enough. Let me see just this screwdriver. Can I use this one? It's a little stronger. Ah, it's not correct one. Okay, that one is okay. Sorry for my left hand, but you know what I'm doing. One, two, three, four. Oh, one missing. It was a very easy job to disassemble this. Just I had to figure out what I have to disassemble. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. We have here six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so I did finish my job. Everything is in position. I am checking everything. I have here my screws, four of them. Okay. 
So in the beginning, actually, if I knew for this part, I could just unscrew this and I could take everything off. Cap together with uh, that part. That will be much easier for me to take off this part as well. But as you can see, everything is done and in the best way, without any problem. No any damage at all. Okay, now, that is done. This wire is okay, wire is okay, that was wire that, now everything, only thing that I didn't do, I think that wasn't necessary to do so, is remember on that part I had something, so I don't think so that I should to pull it off, it is some, some kind of protection maybe, that should be between screen and that part, <laughs> anyway. Hopefully somebody from Catron will see this video and they will tell me do I have to open it again and do I have to remove that part. If I have to do so, now I know how to do so and it's not going to be a big deal. Now I have all my potentiometers that are working well. My keyboard, everything, buttons. Now what I have to do, I have to put back this part. Let me see how it goes. Oh, okay, now I, I can see that part that comes like this here. Okay, and it is in position. And I think I did repair my keyboard. Now I have to check everything that it works. Do I have any problem with any button, with anything? I shouldn't have any problem. Only if part, if this new part has problem, then I can experience some problem, but it shouldn't be any problem. So that is how I exchange my panel with LED lights. They didn't work. Now I will move my camera here to point it to position where I'm going to put my keyboard. And we will see, does it work? Okay, maybe I should lift a little bit my camera up. Let me put it here on this position. I am recording everything with GoPro camera through OBS. Okay, now just move this camera a little bit down. Okay, that's it. Now my Catron, oh, Ida. yes, I forgot. We have to put back those screws. Remember those screws on the back? Those three screws on back and those screws on side, we have to put them, but now before I put them, I just want to try keyboard. I want to give it a try. See, does it work? Let me move it for a moment just to connect everything. there. Okay. Okay, most of the cables are here. I, I don't see where is my HDMI cable. Oh, I think so. Maybe it's somewhere down. My HDMI cable. Oh, is this? No. Okay, it's down, I guess, in my HDMI cable that I have to find and put it here. 
Okay. Now, press and pray to see is everything working. Now is this moment. Press and pray. Screen is coming. I can see lights here. That is promising. system is starting normally and I should see my nice lights here now soon <laughs> still waiting for those lights to see them. There is moment. Exciting moment. Yes! Look at those beautiful lights. I did repair my keyboard. So, as you can see, potentiometers. Now we will try the plate. Okay, volume for everything. Okay, beautiful. Everything is working. Sorry for my sound. Now I am going to put the microphone back here. Now you can hear me much better. Now uh, let us see does everything works. Set, drum mixer, manual bass, lowest root, basses, fuel draw bar, draw bar. If I want to move those buttons, I have to disconnect voice. Now I have access to draw bars, so I can access draw bars from the left side, and those two potentiometer I can access only if I uh, disconnect voice one. And now my colors are here, my LED lamps are back, everything is there, I can stop my keyboard, I can go to menu, I can go to preferences, now tear display, brightness, LED, look at I can have maximum, minimum, higher LED. I can change color, violet, blue, lime, green, red. Blue is beautiful. So several colors, I can change it and I can adjust level. Blue is my color. Seven, eight. That is enough. And everything is working pro properly. So, guys, don't uh, forget one thing. So, we still didn't finish our work. We have a couple screws. Remember, we have one, two top, three, four top, and one, three 
uh, one, two, three on back. So I have top four screws and I have three screws on back that I'm going to put and voila, I exchange everything by myself and everything is working well. And the beginning I was uh, skeptic about this wheel, how I will take this uh, off. But then when I saw those screws, uh, then it was easy job. Now when you know what you have to do with help of this video, you don't need to do those uh, moves that I uh, was, wasn't need to do. So th those just extra moves like upper screws and this wheel, you will take it very easily when you unscrew those four screws. So uh, I showed you position of them. So that is whole job done and everything is working properly and I can continue to enjoy Event X, that beautiful keyboard. And now on the end, I just want to say you bye. Bye, my friends. All the best to you. See you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching this video. And have a nice day.